Hello and welcome. Tis I, JP the Orange Lantern, returning after a long, and I do mean a long, uh, hiatus of not live streaming. Uh, for the record, that comes because I have uh, not necessarily been available due to the fact that I've been moving uh, so much, or that I've been moving and doing a lot of uh, other stuff. So, yeah, um, I was just adjusting the volumes because I know some people complained in the last uh, Mass Effect stream that the uh, audio was uh, not good. So I took the opportunity to correct that. Um, but yeah, I am in a brand new apartment. A uh, brand new apartment, brand new job that uh, I am still, you know, kind of getting used to and training. Um, I still live in the same uh, state that I've lived in. But uh, yeah, it's a brand new first ever uh, pl time for me uh, to be on my own. And I didn't realize I had this many upgrade points. So yeah, when we last left off with Mass Effect Andromeda, it was uh, we were doing a lot of stuff. We were uh, solving a civil war in Kadara Port, which ended up uh, we ended up siding with Sloane Kelly. And um, yeah, I actually have uh, it's so weird now to be live streaming a game from not just the new games, not just from a new place but to also be live streaming them from a couch. Like I actually have a couch and a bedroom because of my, when I was living with my parents, I had the singular bedroom. That was my space and uh, I didn't have anything else. And now I have, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I legitimately have, you know, uh, all of these things, uh, it's to be able to set up my uh, to set up my apartment and have like all of my stuff kind of you know laid out the way that I want. I'm able to display my collectibles and things like that. Um, it's just a hell of a feeling uh, because I never honestly, I, I honestly was getting to the point where I didn't think the day was gonna come where I would ever be on my own. Uh, I'm very grateful for everything that my parents, of course, did for me. And, uh, yeah, to be on my own is an amazing feeling. We're just kind of going through the um, upgrades here because we've got a crap ton of upgrades. And then uh, I'm thinking today will be a lot of side quests and loyalty missions. We're actually here for one loyalty mission. So there's that. Um, but otherwise, I do think that we're just going to move kind of forward. I got to see. I got to get used to, again, if I like the uh, the couch. My couch is not the most comfortable. Or if I just want to sit on the ground. Uh, because uh, uh, one thing that I do. Or I mean, I love this about my apartment. And at the same time... Uh, because it was easier to move, but also uh, the fact that I have, uh, that all the furniture uh, was pretty much included, you know, means that it was, you know, it is what it was. I didn't really have a say in much of the furniture, but most of it's very good. Uh, the couch could be comfier, but, you know, what you gonna do? Uh, with the exception of Liam, I can't actually upgrade any of my uh, Tier 5 abilities for my companions. Or is that Tier 6, actually? That's yeah, Tier 6. Um, <clears throat> and I I don't really use Liam a whole lot, so that's kind of a fat lot of good that does for him. Ah! So, it's going to take me a moment here to get reoriented. I don't know if I can hear. Maybe I turn the audio down too low. Let me know if the game audio is too low on your guys' end here. 
I can't work under these conditions. What does it take to be left alone? Please relax. Ambassador Rialis sent me to check on you. You reported that someone in the Resistance threatened you. Tell me exactly what happened. Mm hmm I didn't know Riala was sending the Pathfinder. I deserve no less, of course. Oh, God. I was measuring the photonic dispersal from the canopies <clears throat> when some random brute interrupted me. I asked him to move, and he got nasty. Said it was my fault his friend was dead. <laughs> Ridiculous. What did he say? Do you know what he meant by that? He ranted nonsense about a vessel and selling slots to outsiders. Mm -hmm. He got right up in my face and compared me to a cat. He wanted to kill me. I could see it in his eyes. Oh, boy. The whole conversation made no sense. I think he was inebriated. I'm not saying you're wrong, but dial it down. We're guests yeah. here. Exactly. We shouldn't have to put up with this. Ugh. When he left, I tagged him with infrared dye from my sample kit. <clears throat> Visible to the naked eye, but not to a scanner. I'll scan people around the Resistance headquarters, see if I find him. You're supposed to represent our interests, Anaya. Go, represent. I have work to do. Ugh. Shut up. Um, so yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna do some of the side quests that are still here, because uh, we do have some, like, little things that we can do. But uh, otherwise, we'll probably end up then going through uh, a lot of the loyalty missions. Uh, because we've got most of the loyalty missions. And some of them, or at least a handful of them, don't involve, uh, you know, that don't involve directly going to the Krogan colony. Uh, we'll see. You know, it's funny, now the Twitch mobile app decides that it actually wants to cooperate. I don't know what the heck is going on with it, but uh, I can finally stop whining about that. I actually can see the Twitch chat, and I might not actually have to pull up my computer, at least not anytime soon, uh, to, um... To, uh... Sam, what's this? You decontamination console for visitors to the med center. Touch the start pad to use it. Um, so yeah, now I don't actually have to, uh... Now I don't actually have to maybe uh, wrestle with my uh, laptop on the side in my new place while I attempt to uh, discuss things with you guys. That would be nice. Uh, very nice indeed. Um, but yeah. I detect the infrared dye Sorvis Len used to mock the person who threatened him. That's our man. Mm -hmm. I know why you're here. The botanist. You want an apology for what I said to him. I'm here to listen. I only have one side of the story. Of Tell me yours. It's hard to explain. Hmm? Try me. Aya mm -hmm. isn't big enough to give everyone a home. We each live here a short time and then move on. Ah. For someone to come, another must go. The exchanges are chosen at random. Ah. We call this arrangement the Vassal. Time of change. It worked well until now. We will set the balance. The Vassal never accounted for outsiders living on Aya. Uh-oh. There's only so much room. When our leaders agreed to make a place uh. for your people here, it came with a cost. My uh. friend won a place on Aya, but he sold that slot so one of you could stay here instead. Sold it how? What did he get? Comforts for his family, resources to improve their home on Haval. Ah. He always put others before himself. That's how he died, fighting Ket on Vold. When I found out, I was ah. angry. Said things to your botanist I shouldn't have, but I'd never hurt your people. It's okay. I understand. I believe you, and I'm sorry for your loss. Between us, a botanist is kind of a jerk. He didn't fear my anger. I respect that. I'll talk to our ambassador, see if we can minimize our impact on your vassal. We don't expect things to be easy. Only that you understand. Nothing is free for us. Duly noted. Duly noted. Well, let's tell. Let's uh, take care of that, shall we? Um, but yeah, otherwise, um, things have been going well with my uh, new life. Uh, I've been adjusting to the job that I'm working. It's uh, 
it's going to be a bit of a challenge for me, both uh, personally and, uh, well, not just personally, uh, with the job itself. Uh, it's going to be, uh, might be physically demand, or it's going to be both me mentally and physically demanding of me. So, um, uh, as much as I love streaming and having kind of sort of a following here, um, I do acknowledge that, of course, my work will take precedent, and there are going to be points where, uh, especially depending on my work schedule, I don't have a solid work schedule yet, but there might come a time in my, uh, with my work schedule where, um, I am not able to stream, like, at all, because I will be, you know, just trying to rest and recuperate after, uh, heavy work shifts, uh, I will be sure to kind of let you guys know, um, but this isn't me saying goodbye, obviously, honestly, um, not even remotely, this is not me saying goodbye, um, Go it's, on, Pathfinder. I've been practicing the language. it's just, uh, more or less, uh, kind of a prepar- uh, kind of a preparation for things to potentially come, uh, in regards to, uh, my life and my stream schedule. Uh, the money at my job is good, but the hours will probably be long and brutal, and so uh, I'll have to compensate for that. Any news on what happened to Sorvis Len? Do you know about the Vassal, <clears throat> the Angaran lottery that decides who gets to live on Aya? I've heard of it. Why? Angara are selling their slots to come here so our people can stay in their place, hmm. including a member of the Angaran resistance. He was killed on Vold. Wouldn't have happened if he'd been here. No one told me of this arrangement. Well, we have to do something. Ha. <sighs> uh, you'll figure it out. No. Uh, okay. We could let Angara, who give up their slots, live on the Nexus. It's safer than Vold. Exactly what I was thinking. No one should suffer on our behalf. Good to know. Thank you, Pathfinder. I'll forward your proposal to Director Ten immediately. Future plans? Nah, no problem. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. Goodbye. Um, let's see here now. Uh, yeah, we've got a lot of like little side quest stuff to do here, so uh. You're gonna have to forgive me because we want to uh, we want to handle this stuff. Uh, so yeah, I do hope that. Uh, so there, there's that. Um. Otherwise, like I said, I'm loving my new place. Uh, cooking has been a bit of a, a hurdle for me because I've never been a good cook. Uh, and while I haven't, like, I'm not incapable of cooking completely, it's just one of those things that I never foresaw myself, or I, I never really saw confidence, I should say, in myself to do so. So, I haven't burned down my apartment yet. <laughs> I'm not planning on it either, at all. You work on the solar panels. So, yeah. Do you yeah. have an amplifier for solar energy? Hmm. Nothing as big as these, but I have a smaller one on hand. Do you need it? Yep. I do need it. Also, I'll sell all salvage, too. Yay! Alright. Uh, and that's on here, I assume? Excuse me. Oh. It's over by the shuttle. Right. It's for a task outpost. Outpost task. Um, but yeah, otherwise, how has everybody else been doing? I know it's been uh, almost, what, two weeks? Three weeks since I last streamed? Again, not what I intended, but uh, that's what happened. Um, and I made mention of this on uh, Twitter. And for people who are watching this on a VOD, they'll probably be like... Uh, well, what the heck is the point of mentioning this, but I'm saying it now. I unfortunately have uh, an errand 
tomorrow that I don't know how long it's actually going to take. And said errand is going to require me to not be available when I originally planned to do the stream of Atomic Heart. And depending on how long the errand takes, uh, I might not stream Atomic Heart altogether because I do not want uh, to... <clears throat> excuse me. Stream Atomic Heart when... Uh, when I can't give it, like, you know, a good chunk of my time, uh, I want to be able to give Atomic Heart, like, something like six hours, uh, in the initial playthrough, because I know for a fact that I'm not going to get back to it, um, if I play it on stream, especially if I play it on stream, I'm not going to be able to get back to it for, like, a full week. So, uh, I, I'm debating whether or not uh, I will end up streaming Atomic Heart uh, tomorrow or whether I'll just, uh, or whether, and if I don't stream Atomic Heart tomorrow, I probably won't stream anything or I will stream Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, on the flip side of the coin, um, with, um, <clears throat> in terms of new games coming out, uh, I am aware that WWE 2K22 is coming out. I know some people, you know, know that I'm a wrestling fan. Followers of the channel are wrestling fans. They want to know if I'm going to play it uh, day one. I'm not. Uh, just don't have the time. I don't have the time and I'm not going to be able to dedicate it uh, any time to it. Um, Still waiting for System Shock to come out. Uh, once the system, if the System Shock remake comes out, I'm definitely going to snag that uh, very early into its life cycle, if not day one. And I'm going to try and play it. Um, but nothing has really been uh, released or acknowledged, which is very sad and frustrating. Um, I know about Resident Evil 4's remake. Uh, I am not going to end up playing that probably for quite some time. Uh, I have, the only other thing that I do have in mind is, uh, Devecki Studios, the, re the people who released The Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker, The, uh, Shapeshifting Detective, and Dark Knights with Poe and Monroe, the latter of which I have, but have, uh, I own, but have not streamed or played yet, are coming out with a new project. Uh, Murderous Muses that will come out on April the 12th and uh, I am definitely going to get my hands on it when I can and I'm going to try to make a run of an FMV Friday return or at the very least a one-off so yeah they'll be happy to see this no more power outages thank you Pathfinder so yeah um, that's kind of where the, the land of my uh, my streaming uh, where the land of streaming kind of is, uh, is right now. Um, <clears throat> I am very, very much excited, um, about a lot of things that are coming out, but of course I can't get to them all, and there's a lo lo load of stuff that I've missed over the years that I still have to catch up on. Not to mention some of the stuff that's coming out only for the new... For the new generation of consoles, it's a mess. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to pretend that I have uh, it all in hand, but I hope you guys will join me for the ride. Ambassador Realis said you're thinking of moving to the Nexus. Uh-oh. Pathfinder. I'm honored even to be considered for the transfer, but I won't be happy as just an observer. I want need to work. Okay. Engineer power systems. Will I be allowed employment alongside your people? Absolutely. That's the whole point of this exchange. The Nexus needs people like you. That's all I needed to hear. I'll have your ambassador stop the transfer. Thank you. One down. Uh, yeah, we'll do all the stuff on Aya, and then we'll probably end up going to look for the Asari arc with uh, Korra. Because that's the one side mission that... Uh, the one uh, loyalty mission... That is not dependent upon uh, 
going to the Krogan colony. I'm trying to save that until I clear off a lot more of the side stuff on the plate here, as it were. Um... But yeah, um, I finished Batman the Animated Series uh, last night, and uh, I gotta tell you, um, I said this uh, this on Twitter, um, while I'm not crazy about some of the character redesigns in like the second half, uh, in particular the Joker and like uh, Mr. Freeze, among a couple of others, they just... They just did not click with me, um, uh, but otherwise, uh, it was great. I, I see why You're people said that it was... Candidates to live on the Nexus. I am. Glad you finally showed up. Let's get down to it. I've lived my whole life wanting to meet aliens who didn't want me dead. But my family's here. How can I stay in touch with them from the Nexus? Use technology. You'll have ways to send them text messages and comm transmissions. I want contact with the people I love. You offer machines. You're not good enough, Pathfinder. Grr. Um. But yeah, we, um. Or, but yeah, I, I really liked Batman the Animated Series. It's a very well done show. I can see why so many uh, people. And kids, from my generation, I said it before, but Batman the Animated Series was just before my time. Uh, I wasn't uh, old enough to appreciate it. Uh, I wasn't even born when it started. So, uh, yeah. To see it now, Pathfinder. it's amazing. Ambassador Riala didn't think you'd have time for me. She said hmm. you needed to talk before agreeing to live on the Nexus. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm an anthropologist, but I've only ever studied my own people. Uh -huh. I've heard the Nexus is home to multiple species and cultures. It would be fascinating and possibly dangerous. Bacteria, viruses, other contaminants. My family worries about me. Are you sure I'll be safe? Yes. They wouldn't let me on Aya if I was a walking Petri dish, would they? You aren't taking this seriously enough to satisfy my family. I can't go without their blessing. I'm sorry. Grr. Um. Oh well. Um. Swing and a miss. Um. Let's see. Um. We did get a quite a bit of snow up here today. But uh, th or over last night and today, but thankfully the most annoying, uh, it's not um, it's not too bad except for the fact that it's it's falling off on my apartment's roof and it's been making like loud noises all day. It's been it's made me jump a couple of times. So if uh, I like jump unexpectedly, like can you hear me gasp? That's what it is because. Uh, it should have all fallen down by now, but I can't be 100% sure. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, otherwise I, um... Uh, I am doing, uh, very well otherwise. I can't, uh, complain too much. I'm My just lonely. Are are fighting a bacterial infection. Do you have antibiotics? Of course. Will this do? Indeed. Yeah, I'm just incredibly lonely. Uh, I know that's not something that, um, you know, one cannot, you know, like automatically, excuse me, but that's not exactly something that you can just like, uh, Shrug off right away. Excuse me. Um. I, I do hope it's something that I eventually get to, uh, have corrected because, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I hope that, you know, if somebody's, you know, that feels alone 
is able to find somebody or something or someone for themselves so that they aren't so lonely. And, uh, yeah, you guys uh, in the chat definitely help. Uh, any of you who watch my streams definitely help, but, uh, hopefully I get something long-term to cure the, uh, the loneliness. Uh, let's see here now. Almost done with these, uh, random side tasks, and then we'll, uh, and then we can go back to, uh, some more pressing quests. Uh, hmm. I don't know how long I'm going to stream today. We'll see, but like, like I said, we are definitely going to try to stream a decent bit. God damn it, the snow. I don't know if that actually registered on the microphone, uh, on my headset mic, but that, but if you heard that, if you heard that, that was a giant clump of snow falling off my apartment's roof to the, uh, the courtyard because, excuse me, with my apartment, I had a choice between uh, being closer to the parking lot or having an apartment that had a window next to the parking lot and one that had one that looked outside. I chose the one that looked outside. So there's another apartment complex that's kind of across the way, but in between there, there's a little courtyard. And so my uh, the, the, the snow that's falling off the roof of my apartment is falling down into that courtyard and it, it and because I'm on the first floor of the apartment you can hear the thud much more and holy crap it's not just me too by the way uh, even back home my parents are saying the same thing like it's a nasty you don't have noise any seeds, do you i yes i do need some yes i do um but yeah, if you've never like experienced like a massive snowstorm and like, you know, you don't have like a slanted roof or even just a roof at all and like need to get like snow off of it, it's a scary sound when you've got like a ton of snow just like just whomping all the way to the ground like out of nowhere. It is scary. I'm not going to pretend it isn't. Uh, it is just like holy mackerel like wakes me up for sure um yeah so we'll turn in the stuff with the supplies for the outpost and then we'll go talk to the Moshai while we're here ah <clears throat> <sighs> All right. Oh, don't. No, no. All right. I found Kiloa seeds for Eos. Is this enough? It's perfect. I'll make sure Eos gets them. Here, I have the antibiotics for Kadara. Will the settlers be okay? Once they have these, they'll be fine. I'll make sure they know who to thank. You're welcome. All right, we'll talk to the Moshi and then we'll move on. God damn it. I hope that snow stops falling. That's just annoying now as well as just like, ah. All right. Hang on just one second. I'm going to get a drink here. One second. I got to get a drink. I'm going to get a drink here.
All right, much better. It wasn't exactly nerves, but I could feel like saliva kind of like uh, pooling in my mouth, and I was just like, mm, I'm thirsty, aren't I? Great. Hate when that happens. Uh, darn. I walked right past it. Here we are. Uh. Mm -hmm. Wait. The hell did I walk right past it? I think I walked right past her. Great. I don't remember it being this much of a nuisance. Uh, oh, it's right here. <clears throat> You've come to me. Axel, I'm all right. You almost died. Oh boy, here it goes. What's she doing here? Let's just keep calm. Relax, I was invited. So it's true. Aya has opened its doors to outsiders. Axel, Ryder rescued me from the cat. Uh huh. She risked her life to. Sloan Kelly saved Kadara. Look how that went. Really? I am different, though. I want to be allies, equal allies. <laughs> You don't even treat your own equally. Isn't hmm. that why the Krogan left? How did you? Yeah. I've been watching you. You're invaders just like the Ket, except less cautious. What does really? that mean? You'll know soon enough. Do not trust them, Chauvin. Oh, boy. So, well, that didn't, didn't work. He used to be like this. He was curious, brilliant. But the Ket... Even without exaltation, they change us. There is hope. There's still time to bring him around. I want to believe that, but his hatred towards aliens. I'll prove we can be trusted. I hope so. Ryder, we just received an emergency recording from Eos. Come to the meeting room when you get back to the Tempest. Oh boy. Well, that's all we needed. All right, so now let's go back to the Tempest then. I doubt there will be any uh, new dialogue amongst our crew, but if there is, we'll we'll see. And then after that, we will uh, go to EOS to try and solve the problem. That Oxul is clearly creating. Before we move forward with any uh, other side quests. We're focusing on, uh, excuse me, loyalty missions. Or we're going to try to focus on... <clears throat> some uh, loyalty missions uh, this uh, this stream all systems green didn't know oh it is so I and I know I always said this earlier but it is so nice to have the twitch app the Twitch mobile app uh, cooperating with me now, so I can actually see the chat. I mean, if anybody wants to chat, so yeah. Writer. Mhm. Mm I should get back to things. So yeah. All right. Mhm. Mm 
Pathfinder, you have pending vid calls. Uh huh. Suvi, play the full distress call from Padromos. Right away. Hmm. This is the initiative outpost Padromos on EOS. We're in need of assistance. Tempest, this one is for you. We've got hostiles inbound. No ground activity, but there soon will be. Pathfinder, we need you. Going dark until it's resolved. We're not giving up EOS again. Out. Vague. Could use more information than just hostiles and the worry of escalation. Could be his mm -hmm. worries it's not a simple attack. If someone's willing to risk attacking Prodromos, your first outpost... Yep. They're trying to make a point. Keep the nav fresh. I'll be on the bridge soon. Understood. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll take Jal and, uh... We'll take Jal and somebody else to Eos. <clears throat> Anomaly detected. Okay, anomaly detected in Aya. Okay. What's this for? Deploying probe. I found something. Ooh, satellite nav point. Okay. According to that astronomer on Aya, a satellite should be here. I'm not detecting anything. If it was here, it's gone. You mean destroyed? I mean, gone. Destruction would leave debris. We've got nothing. Let's huh. try another nav point. Huh. Good to know. Alright. I know there's uh, quite a few new galaxies to uh, explore. Like, uh, and by galaxies, I mean clusters of uh, planets to explore and stars to explore. But uh, right now, I'm just sticking with uh, focusing on the companion uh, loyalty missions first and foremost. Mm, never mind. And there's an anomaly here anyways. Ready to fly, Pat. What the? Find something? Something pinged us. An ID request. The Tempest auto-responded. We'll keep an eye out in the sector. Oh. Okay. What the hell happened? Anti-trackback measure? Drive system overloaded. Not quick enough, though. I got a serial that has triggered an alert. Pathfinder, we are to contact Director Addison as soon as possible. What is going on? No kidding. Oh, wow. Uh... Yikes. Well, that was something. <sighs> Let's talk to Addison here first. And then there's, a, even though we've uh, raised the vitality up 100%, there's definitely still some stuff that we can do on Padromos, of course, or EOS. Ryder, <clears throat> tell me about the satellite you found. Director, what are you talking about? My alert identified a ZK resource tracker. They're emergency tech, full of overrides, so they can bypass protocol. 
They were designed by Dr. Zoe Jean Kennedy. She disappeared with the exiles. Hmm. If her tech has shown up, that could give someone a backdoor to steal from your outposts. Ah, okay. She disappeared with the exiles, but you aren't calling her one? She sympathized, but we'd never let an expert like that go. She was vital. But in the chaos, a lot of things and people went missing. Hmm. Why were these trackers allowed to bypass protocols? They're supposed to be hubs. To rapidly track and pull resources if lives are at stake somewhere. That's why they weren't deployed. Tan didn't like anyone bypassing his rubber stamp. If this satellite is new, how has it kept up with our security measures? Hmm. That's a very good question. No kidding. Pretty extreme to set up a personal alert. Why do that? A lot of Dr. Kennedy's projects were unofficial. Hmm. But you backed them. Like these trackers? I don't want some asshole using my access codes to cut a backdoor into our resources. Or Tan blaming me for it. But I also want to know what happened to her. Sure. What was Dr. Kennedy's role in the initiative? She designed the orbital beacons, forward stations, and half the kit in the Tempest. Huh. She'd ram an upgrade through before the requisition was on Tan's desk. Hmm. Dr. Kennedy disappeared along with the exiles. That was a big loss. Huh. If we have to find the tech or the person, where do we begin? You got a sliver of data from the first tracker. With more scans, maybe soon we can assemble a point of origin. Obviously, these trackers are being deployed where initiative tech is concentrated. That means outposts. Try another outpost system, or place more. Maybe you'll draw them out, whoever they are. And when we find them? They're stealing our resources. My concern is Dr. Kennedy, her tech, their lives. In that order. Hmm. Well, there you go. Yet another reason to go back to all the outposts. I'd say it's kind of nice that they give you a reason to go back and visit the outposts, but it also gives you that feeling of, uh, are you ever truly done with what you are, like, doing in this game? And so I, I do feel like that's a little, uh, a little much. Tracking a remnant architect. I guess I... Oh, I forgot. Okay, sorry. I, th I thought I claimed that data already. Excuse me. Alright. Let's roll. The scent is green. Coordinating. Path is calm. other stuff to do on EOS too, so we'll definitely end up trying to take care of it all here. If we if we only end up finishing uh Jal's uh Jal's uh loyalty mission then that's just what will happen but we're going to try to finish it all here. <clears throat> okay, yep, yeah, PV. So yeah, we did need to be here for that. Just scanning the map to make sure. Alright, so let's... Speak with good old, good old August, August Bradley, and then we'll uh, 
kind of go from there. Sorry to keep you in the dark, Pathfinder, but there are eyes on this planet. <clears throat> we didn't see much traffic from orbit. It's there, but hopefully you can get ahead of this before it turns into something bad. See you soon. Okay. Hmm. All right, Bradley. Thanks for coming. Knew you'd be up for it. I need answers. You said there were hostiles inbound. We've had raids. With all our hmm. scientific gizmos, we expected pirates, but not this. Huh. Four five. Repeat. Stockpile complete. Waiting for beacon. Launch on detection. Repeat. One two three. He recorded in What beacon. am I hearing, Bradley? Here's my worry. Maybe the raids we've seen were just a decoy, so someone could do a slow tactical build-up in the Black Rock. Huh. Tactical? You mean military? Yeah. No, that was an unguarded voice. He means Rokar. That's why he called us. Uh-huh. An attack on our first outpost? Can you imagine how the Nexus would react? All out exactly war. Exactly the response Axul wants. I won't let anything happen. Eos has been through enough. <clears throat> Stop to whatever this is. I knew you would. I hope I'm wrong, Pathfinder. I didn't want to bring this kind of thinking to Andromeda. Head to Black Rock Tan. I'll transmit the nav point for the signal. Hey, better safe than better safe than uh, and wrong than safe than dead uh, than wrong and dead. Am I right? <laughs> All right. Yeah, so we'll do this, and then we'll get PB's uh, remnant tech. Almost at Black Rock Tand. That is definitely a Roka signal. Understood. Eyes open. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Easy. Okay, we're almost there. Bradley was right. Rokar on sight. Watch for reserves after the first assault. Thanks for the tip. Yeah. It's almost as if Jal knows. Sorry, Rokar. Alright. Oh, crap. Yep, got flanked. Alright, come on now. Much appreciated, thieves. All right, come on. Arg. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, over here. Okay, over here. I was like, where, where am I getting shot from? I can't see. I almost forgot my combat powers. <laughs> and I know I haven't really changed up said combat powers since the very beginning of the uh, when I when I got uh, like them, but I found a combo that kind of works for me. So, eh. just saying. You mean? Oh, little bugs are actually helping us. Not by much, but they're technically chipping in. Got him. Got him. 
Excusez. Est-ce que nous sommes Nous sommes clairs. Et nous avons toujours Bradley's signal. Oui. Let's see what they were protecting. This worries me. Roka are not pirates. Not usually. Hmm. This signal can call dropships to a precise location. Hmm. That's the Roka strategy. The scouts would have placed the beacon in the center of Prodromos. Huh. Telling Axul exactly where to strike. Mm hmm. Bradley, <coughs> Blackrock has a Rokar scout with a homing beacon. Shit. Glad you put an end to that. We need a counter This job is half done. We need to ensure they don't come back. Not sure what you're asking, Pathfinder. We can't risk our first outpost. Technically, third. We lost the first two. Huh. <laughs> Promise and resilience. What? A decoy at the old site. They use their beacon. They want a target. Let's give them one on our terms. Site two is still powered. You could broadcast from the old com array. That works. Bait and switch at site two. Let's go. Yay! All right. Let's do it. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. No radiation worries now. Location for this Rokar beacon? Yes, Pathfinder. Site 2 communications array. Well, let's not keep Axul waiting. Indeed. The cat left their mark, but the buildings stand. That's a lesson. Huh. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed it is. Point marked for Rokar signal upload. Hit the button. It'll draw them right to us. We know this that's, place. That's the plan. Starting Rokar signal upload. Are they heading toward us? The Rokar have altered course. Now might be a good time to take cover. Yep. Human, I told you you'd know soon enough. The beacon is live. You couldn't stop our scouts. They've bought it. Hold until they're on the ground. Ready and waiting. Indeed. You could be fighting you could be fighting the cat, Brokar, but instead you're fighting us. Such a pity. Uh. I do not really care for this one because of the cover. Like death and starvation. Well, know who's not naming our next outpost yeah no kidding poor guy should have run instead of putting up a fight I have no idea who what you're referring to PB because I see nothing Outlaws on their way. unless you are referring to the Rokar ah <sighs> Got him. Yeah, this area doesn't have the best cover. Okay. Yep, dumb idea. I 
got you. <clears throat> Arg. Yep. Got him. No one bites dust. Second wave. I wish, uh, I wish like in Mass Effect, uh, what was it, 2 or Mass Effect 3, I think it was both, where you had uh, like heavy weapons you could clear groups with. That would be kind of nice in this scenario. I was trying to find that sniper. Shit. Arg. Grr. Come on. All right, now we got this in hand. <clears throat> there you are. They're breaking. Don't let up. Yep. Another one, another group wave. Axul, brother, why are you throwing all this stuff our way? It ain't working. Nice shot. I'd say I admired your, admire your uh, resilience, but it's almost just annoying. Give the hell up. <clears throat> and burn. Burn. Oh, hi guys. Yeah, I rock and I burn. Did another dropship just drop another wave? Like, ugh. I don't remember this fight being this intense. Also, I do kind of find it funny that of the two loyalty missions we've played so far, uh, both of them involved uh, kicking the snot out of the row car. Like, Liam's mission, Liam's loyalty mission, involves beating up the row car. Jal's mission, for more obvious reasons, involves beating up the row car. Ah, uh, even more snow fell off the roof of my apartment. Yikes. I guess I'm just glad that I don't have to shovel. Yikes. Portable cover of cat design. Didn't bother to take it with them. Yes. It's a decoy. Rally at these coordinates. They're on to us. Where are they? Um. <clears throat> I 
All right. We're just going to the original site, eh? I don't know why the dialogue got cut off. Aksu, the Pathfinder is coming. Motherless. Everyone prepared to defend. Sounds like they're losing their support. Certainly seems that way. Oh! Oh. Oh, drop a mech. That's not good. But ah, uh, no, 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 odd. Die. No, I'm dead. I'm, I'm alive somehow. I probably should not have survived. Frickin' sniper. Suck it, sniper. Shays. Ah. All right, come on now. Ball. Got him. Oh, saboteur. Let me see. Let me guess. Saboteur and then one more sniper, right? <clears throat> Come on. Yeah, there you are. Got him. And a level up. We did it, Ryder. Pathfinder, Axel's shuttle is leaving orbit. I'll remember this. We're not finished. You are today, and we'll be ready next time. Come to Padromos, Pathfinder. We owe you. Again. Yeah, you do. Huh. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry, just uh Wow, in NFL news. The Hall... Oh, wow. The news... Uh, big news in the NFL. The Chicago Bears, which ordinarily uh, anything they do is, you know, something that I just point and laugh at because I am a long lot, uh, long-time Green Bay Packers fan. Go Pack Go! Like, uh, from birth, a Green Bay Packers fan. Apparently, and this is not confirmed, but it seems that the Bears will trade the number one overall pick to get Carolina's uh, first round selection, the ninth overall pick, the 61st overall pick in this year's draft, a first round pick in 2024, a second round pick, 
from the Panther, the Carolina Panthers in 2025 and wide receiver DJ Moore, who with the exception of uh, Christian McCaffrey was easily the Carolina Panthers best offensive weapon last year, AKA another receiver for the, uh, and more himself, a former first round uh, pick by the Panthers. So essentially the bears end up getting three first round picks. Uh, well, technically two first round picks, a proven NFL player, uh, and an NFL wide receiver who's capable of at least a thousand yards a season. And, uh, a couple of other picks in the, uh, second round for uh to not have to worry about picking a quarterback that's i hate to admit it but chicago bears they i don't know if they could have gotten more but it's a damn good deal considering they don't need a quarterback Pathfinder. so yeah the row car attack is over we'll know what to watch for in the future so that's an nfl this old man and his hunches special thanks to our friend joe it helps to show we're not all on opposite sides the uh, uh, so there's your little random NFL update, and yes, I know I'm worried about Rodgers, uh, Aaron Rodgers leaving the Green Bay Packers. At this point, I'm just gonna let this say where let may the chips fall where they may in regards to that. We can't assume if anybody wants to ask. That's no way so to live. yeah, we're not planning on it. How's the team holding up? A little shell shocked. Can't blame them. Maybe I should say something. If you like. Time and time again, you've shown yourselves competent. And this was no exception. The infrastructure you've built, the skills you've developed. Despite adversity, you remain a model for the cluster. So, when do we get back to work? No approval asked or expected. We huh. lose sometimes, but if they have the choice to keep going, they'll take it. Damn. This wasn't a good day, but it <clears throat> was another day. You gave them that. Well done. Your people, Ryder. Indeed, well done. And now, now we have to. Now, unfortunately, uh, Jal's uh, quest is put on hold. His loyalty mission is put on hold. So let's get uh, PB's little thing here, and then we'll check out and scan the areas of the other outposts that we have for those other tech beacons. Had my nose down in Remnant for so long, I never noticed the colors. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. A little bit of a lag. Oh joy, jumping puzzle. Just what I always wanted. Not. Uh, Okie dokie. Well, here goes no, no. Uh. All right. Okay, so... No? Okay. I thought I could make that jump. I'm wondering now... Do I have to just go this way and try the jump that way, or...? Because they're about the same. Hmm. I clearly have to make that jump up here. Arg. There's gotta be something I'm missing. Unless I just have to jump from here. Okay, yeah, I just had to jump from there. My bad.
Yeah, I knew we were gonna have to fight, so... Call it a hunch. Damn it. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's new. I don't think I've ever had that happen to me while fighting these guys. So yeah, we'll finish this on EOS and then we'll go back to our other outposts to uh, try and move forward. Well, this is the right place. Let's find the tech we're after. Mm-hmm. Here's the first piece of Remtech, PB. Awesome. One down, two to go. Syncing with my scanner. The second piece is on Havarl. Uploading coordinates. We claim the site, Initiative Scum. Oh, goody. Outlaws! Guess we're not oh. the only ones interested in this tech. Of course. Grr. Ah. Not surprised. I mean, yeah, you could argue it was, of course, too easy, but I would argue it's like, come on, guys, can't, can't a guy get a dub once in a while without having to fight? Arg, no! Reach for the sky, boy. Uh, speaking of which, if you are a pro wrestling fan, uh, it was determined now that the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships will be uh, decided due to the untimely passing of Mark Briscoe of the Briscoe Brothers in a uh, ladder match at Ring of Honor's next pay-per-view, Supercard of Honor. And uh, can I just say how happy I am to have uh, Ring of Honor back in my wrestling world. I know for a fact that Ring of Honor, even, excuse me, that Ring of Honor even now is not what it once was at its peak, but it is just so good to have it back because it became my favorite wrestling promotion for uh, a long time. And we got the piece we came for. We can move on. And in many ways, uh, I should say that Ring of Honor is still my favorite wrestling promotion uh, to this day. So uh, yeah, I um, <clears throat> I'm very happy it's back, and um, it's kind of a shame that uh, you know such. That the face, one of the faces of Ring of Honor, uh, Jay Briscoe, is no longer around to, um, excuse me, see the television product. And um, I was just honored to be able to buy um, a limited edition poster of Jay Briscoe. The uh, proceeds of which will go to benefit his family. In uh, this very uh, dark and rough time for them. And uh, I'm glad that I've seen Mark Briscoe on TV. In AEW and in Ring of Honor. The guy's a great wrestler and uh, a great man from the sound of things. All systems green. 
Pathfinder, you have new email. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. All right, well, let's take a look. Let's go take a look at what Axul has to say first. And then we can move on to, um, then we can move forward to, um, uh, taking, uh, care of, the the other stuff I am very much surprised that these missions even are still around honestly because uh it really does kind of strike me as I know it's some, something that was technically carried over from Dragon Age uh, Origins. You have AVP outstanding or, not Origins. Uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, but it's still kind of fun, or it's still kind, or it's still kind of odd to have like the combination of those multiplayer elements kind of just like both there. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. <clears throat> I'm just trying to think now here. I guess we'll go for this one here. Huh. Um. Yeah, I don't really have a whole lot more to say on my life and still. I don't have a whole lot more to say on my life and stuff, so yeah, here we go. Joel, I'm in the meeting room. Right behind you, Ryder. <laughs> Pulling up the message. Joel Amadarov, you always were a short-sighted fool. Wow. An outsider instead of your own people. You're unfit to bear your family's name. I'm sorry, I got you I into this. I didn't mean to make my enemies yours. Mm. He said similar things before. Huh. When we were students. The Moshai paired us together. Oh boy. We've never gotten along. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm still learning about Angara, but that sounded more personal than a childhood rivalry. He's too smart to attack me directly. Aksul wants us to do something reckless. Hmm. Let's not give him the satisfaction. Okay. Simple enough. We won't do that then. Let's see now here. Ugh. Okay, so we've got we've got a whole bunch of places to uh, to scan and examine. Uh, let's see, where haven't we been? Sorry, I'm just trying to see now here. Uh,
We're going to examine these areas first. These uh, galaxies that we haven't been to yet. And then we're going to go after the other piece of Remtech for PB. This might have been a larger system once before the Scourge. Hmm. As if we needed a better reason to document everything. Mm hmm. I'm picking up something. Probes launched. Anomaly found. A common, eh? Hmm. I have no idea what that. Ugh. All right. I'm picking up something. All right. Probe away. Getting a scan. Okay. <clears throat> Nope. Nothing else there. So there was one. One more. And then... Okay. So we'll scan that other system. The other neighboring system here. And then we'll go to... Uh, We'll go to the, um, <clears throat> excuse me. To, uh, Bold or wherever Looks the like Remtech piece is. From Aya, it's often the brightest star, the first to rise. So, yeah. Ooh, what a interesting little pattern they weave anomaly detected probes launched uh-huh really probes launched damn it tracking a huge mineral deposit a lot of iron huh okay Nothing. All right. Uh, Havaro. Let's go, PV. Change things up a little bit. <clears throat> and 
entering atmosphere. LZ in sight. Excuse me. Uh. All right. You wait. All right, let's get Remtech piece 203. Not 203, two of three. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Whoa, hey now. Well, this is no no uh, way to greet people. Grr. How rude. Arg. Stupid saboteur. the wildlife or not yeah that's right fight the wildlife you dumb idiots biotic combo nice wasn't even aiming for that just so happened to be the case uh All right, I was gonna say, uh, what are you guys shooting at? I don't, I don't see any more. But might have gotten, gone past my head here. Ah. Okay. There we go. Now. Almost to the remnant site, except raiders have gotten here first. <clears throat> I can't remember now uh, what I need to scan to get the other enemy intels. I just know I have to go up, right? I think I have to go up. Yeah, they're up here. Whoa! <clears throat> oh crap. Ah! No! Alright, alright, let's fix this. Uh, no, 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 get out of the, ah, uh, that was a glitch. The game's jumping broke.
Alright, game was pretty generous with the checkpoint. Ugh. Uh. Alright. Switch weapon first. There. Gah. I gotta upgrade to a... I gotta upgrade to a different gun. And I'm gonna die. <sighs> Got him. Oh. Gotta love all the local been, wildlife. Been detected, Pathfinder. Uh, yay. Uh, yay, I, uh... I don't know if I need it. What? Where? Uh, yeah. No, I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. Oh. There must be dozens of these scattered around Avaro. We should pick up as many as we can find. I see. Well. Okay, so where's this undocumented mineral that you were trying to tell me about? Not that I really care, it's just kind of there, I guess. Hmm. Let me guess, it's in the... Yeah, it's in the tomb. The vault. I thought that looked familiar. Ugh. Ugh. Another snowfall off the roof. Like, seriously? Wow. All right. Well, the good news is we cleared the vault out of all the stuff that wants to kill us. And by that, I mean the remnant stuff that wants to kill us. So that's nice. <clears throat> oh, screw off. Forgot about the labyrinth. Can't just be right in front of my face. It's gotta require us to go around. <clears throat> uh, whatever. And of course, the other problem is, is I can't fast travel back to the Tempest from this location. Again, that would make things too easy. Dead outlaws. Hope the piece of Remtech I need is still here. Well, if the outlaws are dead, 
Uh, chances are uh, the remnant killed them, PB, so yeah. It belongs to the remnant, and therefore it should still be here with the remnant. Just a hunch, though, PB. <clears throat> Didn't even need to do that, but eh. All right. Uh oh. Butch. On a broken access point, the structure. We're gonna place. We're gonna get the feast of losses or after, and I'm gonna win the vet after all. Oh. Okay. It's not worth it. They're all dead. And now you're here, I'm screwed. Don't worry. You'll be okay. Oh, really? We were supposed to clean out this site before you got here, but there were too many damn bots. Huh. This outfit doesn't care a lick about any of us. Who are they? Tell me about them. Just joined, so I can't tell you much. The Krogan's name is Crank or Cranket or something. He runs the field crews. That's all I know. Here, hmm. take the choice piece from this site. <coughs> officially retired. Bet this is the second piece you need, PB. Yep. And the last one's turned up on Kadara. Coordinates uploaded. Okay, so Kadara it is. All right. Let's leave. Yeah, we're gonna do, uh... We're gonna finish the, uh... We're gonna finish the stuff here with, uh, PB and the Remnant. And then I think for sure... I'm gonna end up, uh, taking care of... Korra's loyalty mission. And because that's one of the only other loyalty missions that doesn't require us going to the uh, the world that the Krogan have made. And I'm kind of trying to hold off on that right away. Because that will just barrage us with um, even more main quests and side quests. Not just for the characters, but for the entire planet. Uh, in regards to stuff for us to do, and I would rather that not necessarily be the case. <clears throat> if I can help it. I do think that maybe with one or two exceptions, I'm actually done with Havaro, though. There's, that's nice, at least. <sighs> Leaving Havaro, Bridge is yours, Pathfinder. Charles has been asking to talk to you. Pathfinder, you have new email. Okay, well, never mind. I guess we're going to continue with Jal and what he's doing. Unless... Unless, uh... Jal requires him to, uh... 
Yeah, unless Jal requires uh, to go to, like, uh, the other place that I haven't gone to yet. <clears throat> we'll see. But yeah, first things first, we'll talk with y'all. You more than anyone know how dangerous Axul is. <sighs> Why were they allowed to speak with him? They aren't children anymore. We can't control their every move. Hmm. You remember how you were. Please, Jarl. <sighs> I'll bring them home. Everything all right? Are you okay? Three of my brothers and sisters have joined the Roka. Luxul has poisoned them with his hatred of aliens. Hmm. And your mothers want you to bring them back. Mm -hmm. The Roka have made camp at the forge. Many consider it the birthplace <coughs> of our civilization. Aksul likely believes this bold move will create more fanatics for his cause. Ryder, he has my family. But I don't think I can do this alone. You don't have to. Just tell me the time and place. Hmm. No hesitation. You are a good friend. I have a contact who's been monitoring the Roka. I'll set up a rendezvous with her. Okay. Oh, well, never mind. We're here, so we'll do Jal's, uh, Jal's quest. Uh. We'll do Jal's quest since we're right here. Entering atmosphere, LZ in sight. All right, y'all, we'll help you. Hmm. Let's go meet Jaws contact. Wherever they are. <clears throat> I want to finish at least one uh, loyalty mission in this stream today. Any 
word on Juvit and the others? No. All traffic and communication from the Forge have stopped. It's under Arxul's control now. Oh, crap. We're not fighting the whole Rokar army. We just need to find my family. My shuttle can drop you nearby, but that's about all I can do. Ephra doesn't want to make enemies of the Rokar unless we have to. We'll keep a low profile. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, hi. Nice cowgirl hat. Oh, welcome. New supplies, fresh from the Nexus, and a few from my secret partners. Plan to build the first Angara Nexus Trading Company. Lone Star Enterprises. <laughs> Gotta remember where I started, you know. Uh-huh. You wanna be an early investor? <clears throat> Sounds like a good deal. What do I get for investing? Today, great supplies. Tomorrow, who knows? Well, that definitely is, uh, something. Except you only have common crap that I'm not interested in. Excuse me. Afka says you need a ride to the forge. The quieter, the better. I'm a miracle worker, but I'll do my best. You ready? Yep. Let's do this. All right. Before we uh, go through with this uh, loyalty mission, I'm just going to use the restroom. I'll be back in one minute. Well, not exactly, but pretty close. All right, and I'm back. <sighs> Jal and Cora have proven to be a Jal, very you sure you want me here? Uh, Bring in an competent uh, combat we'll group. A different perspective. Just follow my lead. We'll get my family back. Indeed. Yeah, Cora and Jal, even though I've overused them. Uh, as a team, they've been my most potent uh, combat uh, combo. Move carefully. We don't want to alert the Rokar. It'd be easier if we knew where to find your family. The Moshai brings all of her students to the forge. I know my way around. The Govatan, a welcome center, is up ahead. Okay.
It's deserted. The Govatan is usually filled with travelers. Avka said no traffic in or out. Doesn't explain where everyone went. Where are the Roka? <clears throat> Visitor list. Hmm. Cutting down those arrivals. The arrivals were steady until a week ago. Most Angara come here at least once in their lives. Huh. Either for the tradition or to share knowledge. Which did you visit for? A bit of both. Come on. Let's keep looking for Baranch and the others. Okay. Attention new guests. Did you know? <clears throat> Hmm. It's got juice, but everything's offline. Should I reestablish comms? Let's leave it for now. Might tip off the Roka, wherever they are. Okay. I have a feeling we'll have to come back to that. Uh. Do -do -do. Flora specimen, heat, shape frost, all right. Axel pulled us out of the lab today. Talk to us about the Milky Way menace. Uh -huh. Shava says he's a radical, but he's only saying what everyone's thinking. The makings of a new recruit. Hmm. Yeah, Axel no kidding. Very persuasive. My brothers and sister are proof of that. No kidding. I can't remember if this is well again because you don't really have the like the silver tongue perks that you usually get in RPGs. At least not in Andromeda compared to other games. I meant to turn on the scanner, so. No, nothing in here. I'm not really looking oh here it is. Equipment upgrades, equipment upgrades, blah, 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 blah. Nothing I really care about. The Roka left a slice of fresh Elmuk at my station. I tried to thank him, but he wouldn't say two words to me. I think they've been ordered not to become friendly with us. <clears throat> the Thule, my brother, loves Elmuk. <laughs> it's his favorite. Think he's the one who brought it to her? Maybe. But the rest doesn't sound like him. Lathul is very talkative. Fascinating. You hear that? Axul's voice. Ah, hello. Oh, you said you got them all. I did. They must have. Alien, kill it. Sure. Yet. No one heard that. They shot first. We had to defend ourselves. Uh huh. I mean, we did, but it just blows our element of surprise. Inform Axul that it's been thoroughly searched. All civilians accounted for. Okay. Accounted for. What does that mean? Were they <clears throat> rounding them up? Well, we'll find out. So much for going in quiet. Didn't give us a choice. Yep. Surrender's not an option with your Oka. Take them out. Sure. You can try. But you might not succeed the way you think you will. Wouldn't be so bad if I, if the sniper wasn't like, you know, doing what it did. 
Come on. Come on out and play. Huh? It's not over yet. Keep fighting. Uh-huh. You get it. Another wave. Grr. Come on. Bitch. Got him. Sharp. Damn, they're tough bastards. Just a little longer. What? Oh, hi. Good. <coughs> Got him. Area clear. Any sign of your family? No. The Rokar know we're here. Maybe that will flush them out. No kidding. Uh. Schedule for food. Supplies shifting. in. Ah. Rations. Beard. Guess we interrupted dinner. Oh no. He really hates us. The cat made us fear the unknown. This also part of the Govaton? Living quarters for the archaeologists. Though the Roka have obviously made themselves. I'm sorry the dialogue keeps getting cut off. That's not something I intended to do. where the researchers are. Axul sent them away. But why? I don't know. But I don't want my family involved. Indeed. Right. It's locked. Sam, any suggestions? I detect electrical wiring underground, Pathfinder. You can use the scanner to follow the wires. Of course. And let me guess, another wave of Rokar show up as a result. Or not. There. Door should be unlocked. Find Jal's family. Or not. There's a bridge to the ruins beyond those doors. My family should be there. We can only hope. And of course they knew they were coming. I take it the Rokar didn't want us going that way. How are we going to get to them now? We'll have to jump down. I don't think that by the way those explosives came came anywhere near us. Too far to jump. Use the rocks. Okay. Whee! Now what? Up the hill. We've got company. Sharpshooters! We need to get higher ground. Axul must have sent reinforcements. No, you think? Yikes. Take them out. We can't let them into the nest. By the way, um, I should say this, um, I do, I do not have a copy of the Mass Effect Legendary Edition, uh, which, you know, contains the, uh, which, you know, contains, I believe, the original, um, which I don't know if it's the original game, uh, or I think it's just the original game remastered, or it could be the original trilogy, um, I, I say that like I don't know, because... I say that like I don't know because I don't because I haven't really had a reason to get the Legendary Edition, even though the graphical improvements and the like um, would be welcome. 
Uh, you know, maybe one day I'll end up playing it. Uh, probably wouldn't end up being on stream. But, uh, yeah. I mean, the Mass Effect games, I've always loved them. So, I, I guess I just thought of that as, like, something, you know, oh, maybe somebody would be curious to know what I thought about that. And I think I said a long time ago when it come out, or when the, uh, the Legendary Edition came out, that I didn't need it in my life, but it was kind of cool. Um, especially considering that, you know, you had the, um, the updated servers for, uh, you had the updated servers for, like, Mass Effect 3 and its multiplayer. And, and, yeah, I do remember now that such a thing was stones are even thing. Beautiful. The Angara who built it knew their stuff. <laughs> Just wait till we get inside. Inside? There's a cave ahead. That's where the forge is. And hopefully where my family is. So yeah, I'm not crazy about the dialogue continually oh, getting cut off. What was this place before the scar? It feels so different than anywhere else we've been. I'm sorry the dialogue keeps getting cut off. That's not me. I guess I have to stand still. Dispatch from Al Axul, only the most faithful. Be allowed to enter the forge. Well, geez, that d doesn't that just sound peachy? <clears throat> Intruders have reached the nest. I count three. Wait! I know those voices. Lasso! Go for backup! Wait. Lasso! Wait! Stop! Jal! It's Jal! Jal, is that you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn! <laughs> That <laughs> hugs after punching. You've gotten... You're still slow. Barrage. Our mothers sent me. All of them. Did our mothers send this human too? Let me introduce myself. I'm Ryder. Pathfinder with the initiative. I should kill you right now. Tevint. Please. Wow. Why'd they send you? Because we've lost enough to the kid. They're afraid to lose you to this insane cause. But, Ja, I want you to meet my friend. So you can see that Aksul is wrong. We want peace. We need to work together against the cat. We're here to stay. I want to get along. Who cares? The Angara don't want anything you have. We don't need you. Ja. Our mothers want us to live truthfully. It's because I love my mother that I will die for this Axel cause. is going to blow this place Let's up. Go. That's why I sent the researchers away. Stop. He has really? Talking. Stories Damn it. Your people. Those bombs go off, it'll look like the initiative did it. We have to disarm them. Whoa. Wow. Bitch. Do you even know what you did? Do you know what you've done? Give no, 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 no. The bombs in the forge. I'm okay, Ja. I'll be fine. You gonna make it? I hate Axul. Don't let him win. You got it. I'm glad you're here. No kidding. Those bombs. If Axul's willing to blow up the forge, there's nothing he won't do. Ryder, if he shows up. I know. Follow your lead. Indeed. Well, let's get her done.
Okay. The bombs are already set. How long do we have? In a few minutes at most. Less talking, more shooting! I'll do it. I'll take care of it. This is not the hardest time one. It would help if I could shoot. That was kind of bad. It helps that the bombs are behind cover. And then this one's the one that's out in the open that you gotta be careful for. Okay, all the bombs are disarmed. That's just the rogue car to worry about. Don't go easy on them. Yeah, now we gotta take Think care of them. Maybe. Doesn't matter now. Yeah, no kidding. She might have, but even then. It's all over now with the shouting. And this will, uh... And then this will, uh, be the, um... Watch the pillars! Or we'll lose the fort trying to save it! Yeah, um, I think this is the end of Jal's, uh, loyalty mission, so then... I think I will try to be, uh, do, um... Stay alert! They'll use whatever tactics necessary! I will uh, try then to uh, do the mission with, um, no. I will try to do the mission. Those bombs uh, go off, they'll die too. The loyalty mission. They want to die for their cause. Uh, I, I want to be able to do the loyalty mission for Korra before I end up calling it a stream. And I think I will be able to if I uh, can finish this mission. Grr. Ah. Really, Jolly? You got punked out again? What the hell, man? Ah. I know the saboteur can be a bit of a saboteurs can be a bit of a bitch, but did you get have to get punked out twice, Jol? Damn it! Ah! Come on! Come on, you son of a bitch! This it? This it? I think this is it. Yep. Got him. Boom. <clears throat> How you doing? And then it was just Axul, I think. <clears throat> Tare. Jal! Jal! I oh. killed Athul! I killed him! I'm so sorry! He's not dead. You're unlucky. Yes. I lost my mind, Jal. I want to go home. But the cause. I joined because of you. Of course she... Our brother. Of course she did. Don't leave Let me. Let her go. I only want soldiers who are committed to our cause. Ah, damn it. Not weaklings who stand by and watch the destruction of our people at the hands of aliens. Uh-oh. Your cause is corrupt. You recruit kids and make them fight their family. It's sick. And so are you. I speak for our people. And I say, you're done, you're done Helios. Helios. <laughs> Martyr me. Please. I dare you. You're sad and crazy. I don't kill unarmed crazy people. They move onto our planets. 
They take our resources, make us weak. I've watched Ryder make planets habitable. Exactly. And they'll never let us forget she it. She rescued our beloved Moshai. I know. Saved her life. I know. Stop defending them. The Moshai trusts Ryder and stop. We've been fighting the wrong enemy. Maybe the enemy is this traitor. Easy. Jaw? Don't! The Moshai trusts Ryder. You've become a danger to your own people. Walk away. Hmm. Or I kill you and reveal the resistance for the traitors they are. I'm gonna trust Jal. I hope that he's okay. Oh, bullet. Well, he missed. Ow. That'll be a hell of a scar. The alien could have killed, but didn't. So I'm not... I'm not the monster after all, huh, Axul? Yep. The alien is not the monster here. Hmm. I love my people. Hmm. Come on. Let's get you home. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. <clears throat> yeah, now the pain is starting to kick in because he did get shot in the freaking face. Even if it was a great glancing blow and a, or he grazed him. Yikes. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, Lafu. I never couldn't even kill me at short range. <laughs> nice. Well, oh, the mothers. They are here. Let's give them a minute. They're your Thank mothers you too. For trusting me. Killing Aksul would have made the Rokar stronger. He shot you. I'm glad he did. It exposed how far he'd fallen. Uh-huh. I'm glad you're okay. It could have gone badly. I knew what I was doing. Practicing. A little. Yeah. We should get back. I want to say goodbye before my family heads home. Well done, Jal. Woohoo! Loyalty earned for Jal. Yeah, buddy. Alright, so now let us go back to Tempest. Because we are, I think now, if, if we're not officially done in Havaro, we, um, we don't have to come back for anything major anytime soon. So we're going to take that leave and we're going to go to, uh, <clears throat> and we're going to go to, uh, the... Loyalty mission for Korra. I can talk. Leaving a viral. Bridge is yours, Pathfinder. <clears throat> well, we'll talk to Jal too. But... Hmm. Welcome back. No subject, Ryder to X from Axul Human. 
To hate blindly is as dangerous as to trust blindly is an old Ingar and proverb of one of many I've forgotten somewhere along the way. This is not an apology. I don't know if it'll ever, if I will ever be able to look upon an alien and not feel hatred. But what I did to Jal was wrong, so I must try. Aww. So the Rorkar aren't going away, they just, their leader might have just realized he was wrong. Yay! Okay. Hmm. Alright, I got more upgrade points to spend. See, the problem is I've grown accustomed to my moveset, so I don't really even know if there's any, uh... If there's really even anything that I want to spend my stuff on. Okay. All right. Upgrade the crew, talk to Jal, go to do Korra's mission, and then we'll go from there. I don't know if we'll end up reaching the level cap so much as we'll have uh, most of the uh, character skills purchased. Or maybe Jal's not even in this room here. No, he's not. Never mind. Womp womp. Alright, well. Let us go, then. Complete Korra's... Uh... Complete Korra's... Uh, mission. See if Subi has anything. Writer. No. Callo, you got anything to say? What can I do for you? No. I'll let you come. Okay. <clears throat> okay. system not many signals out here even that random radio noise we get from the scourge is quieter eerie no kidding anomaly on sensors probe away this is Cora's nav point yeah all right first things first we check the system See if there's anything random here or good. Anything random and goodies that we can find here, but I kind of doubt it. And then we'll take Korra, obviously, and then we'll probably take Drac. 
I'm picking up something. Just to give a little bit of flavor and variety. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Hmm. Anomaly detected. But yeah, we'll try to we'll finish Cora's loyalty mission. Deploying probe. And then I'll uh I find something. And then I'll probably call it a stream. We'll see how long it takes though. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Nope. Yes. Actually, let's go with Vetra. I don't think I've ever We're done the nap points a Korra found. I don't Something's know if I've done there. a Korra. It might be an arc, but the damn scourge isn't helping. Sam, help out with the sensors. I haven't done Hard to believe the Lucinia could survive in all this. I uh <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know if I've done a, a Cora or Vetra tandem, at least not very often. Why would the Asari Ark be here? Might be lost or looking for something. Sarissa will have plans for those decimation hunters. Wrote the manual on crisis situations. The commando you mentioned, you still believe she'll save the day? Sarissa was a legend even before she was the Pathfinder's bodyguard. She'll have a huh. plan. Aha! Detecting an initiative vessel. Uh-huh. It's the Ark, all right. Reading life signs. And minimal power. Multiple hull breaches. She's a wreck. What else is new? If she's space-worthy and her crew's alive, that's all we need. Callow, take us in. I'll try. Must be one docking bay still holding together. Hmm. <clears throat> well, you found it, all right. We're aboard. Any response to comms? Nothing. Maybe their sensors are busted. Not likely, Suvi. Not likely. Wee wee now we get to see how the the other arcs on the other arc held held up. Mess. No space battle did this. They had borders. Yeah. Hello? Anyone? We're here to help. I don't hear anyone. Well, when in doubt. Compression. Die, you cat monsters. We're not cat. We're a Pathfinder team. Ryder, Lieutenant Harper, and Sam. Just send her our ident codes. Confirmed. Sorry. I'm Captain Atondra of what's left of the Lucinia. Come up to the bridge. Maybe you can help fix this mess. Well, as long as you don't space us, Captain. So much for trying to help. As long as you don't space us, Captain. I will say this. I don't think you... Um, I'm trying to remember. I don't know if you actually ever... Oh. That was just my phone. <sighs> I don't know if you actually ever find the Solarian Arc. Which I think is a missed opportunity. I thought they could have done something with that in the game. I don't know if they ever did that, though. So... Uh. Heh. This area saw combat action. No bodies, though. Whatever happened left the captain a little trigger happy. If the Tempest looked like this, how would you feel? Take it easy there, Cora. Crew compliment. Oh, only two of the seven bridge crew. Damn. Hmm. 
No, nothing to say about the data pad? Okay. Offline. Damn. Yeah, in other words, nothing good. We kind of already figured that. <sighs> but you'd vent a Pathfinder team into space? Respectfully, yes. We can't take any more chances. Ah, Captain. <clears throat> Hello. Sarissa Theris, Pathfinder. Don't mind the captain. Scolding me eases her blood pressure. Pathfinder, not the bodyguard? Ryder. I hadn't heard you were the Asari Pathfinder. The last we knew, ma'am, Matriarch Ashara was Pathfinder with you acting as her Tiamna. I served with Asari Commandos, ma'am. Memorized all your battle manuals. Matriarch Ashara is dead. Sarissa was next in line. Her battle manuals haven't kept the cat off my arc. That ends today. We'll see your arc safely back to the Nexus. I hope so. We've tried everything else. Matriarch Ashara died trying to negotiate with those cat bastards, so I took something precious from them, too. I stole a module containing tactical data, all their secret routes through this phenomenon. Hmm. And of course they want it we back. We call it the Scourge, ma'am. If we could outmaneuver the Ket through it... Mm -hmm. We'd stand a better chance against them. Mm -hmm. Their Archon had the same thought. He sent his elite agent, the Valiant, and his decimation hunters after us. Hmm. We take more damage each time we escape the Valiant. The last assault? He sent forces to board us. Sarissa's theft has made things... problematic. How many boarders are we talking about? We're not sure, but for now, they're contained down there. We couldn't do more. Hmm. We spent our resources evacuating civilians. The Valiant wants Sarissa to pay. Mm. Pathfinders have to take risks, Captain. I've taken my share. Mm -hmm. Goddess, preserve me. Mm -hmm. What would it take to get the Ark out of here before this Valiant catches up again? Mm -hmm. An FTL burn long enough to lose him. But since the evacuation, we've been stuck at minimal power. The drive core is dead. My of course. people are investigating, but those systems are below deck, with the Ket borders. Hmm. Another Pathfinder team could back them up. Get power for the Drive Corps, and my Sam and I will finish deciphering the Ket data. We'll turn the Valiant's escape routes against him. Consider it done, ma'am. The last commando report came from Hangar Control. I'll give you access. Please be careful. Of course, Captain. I could have, I could have been a, a weasel and like said, ratted out Cora, saying, "Oh, Cora, Sarissa's your biggest fan, Cora." Okay. You okay, Cora? Pathfinders take risks; they really do. Matriarch Ashara, your father. We roll the dice, and hey, sometimes we win. Come on, the sooner we find those commandos, the better. <clears throat> Indeed. Now we actually get to see what the tram looks like, eh? Like what a ride in the tram looks like, eh? Was it this quiet when the arcs were traveling through dark space? It's eerie. These uh -huh. spaces are designed to be bustling. The Lucinia will be back to normal once we get her to the Nexus. Anger control maintenance logs, this is not a false alarm, sealed doors, blah 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 blah. Okay. Someone overrode the hangar doors, then try to seal them in a hurry? Hmm. Maybe something interfered. <laughs> hmm. Curious. Very curious. Eh. That was a bit of a glitch in the animation. That was a bit of a glitchy animation. Look, someone's alive down there. Must be part of Sarissa's team. Hey there. Stop. In the name of the goddess, I'll... Oh. Shoot your rescuers. Hmm? Rescuers? And humans? Your Ark made it? Mm -hmm. Just about. 
I'm Ryder, the human pathfinder. This is my team. Mm -hmm. I'm Vidaria Damali, Sarissa's new second in command. D sorry about the mix up. I hope I can help. The Ark needs power. The captain says we need to restore power to go to FTL. Uh -huh. Right? Yes. I've tracked the power drain, and I think shutting the hangar bay doors will fix it. Mm -hmm. The cat forced the doors open, and the safeties are draining power trying to shut them. Don't worry. My Sam can probably override whatever the cat did. Cat can survive in vacuum for <clears> a little <throat> while. If we shut the doors, the Valiant's pet hunters lose their last escape route, too. I pray the power will be enough for FTL. I just... Vidaria, I served as a huntress. Remember Sarissa's manuals. Breathe, purpose, action. Breathe. <sighs> okay. Please take a look at the console. I'll keep watch. Now, to be fair, Korra is actually of damn good, uh, essentially, commando with biotic power in her own rights, uh, even without serving with the Asari. Starting hangar door closure sequence. Cover the console while Sam works. Nice steady fire. Yes, ma'am. Jeez, you think that she's the captain the way uh the way she talks. Yeesh. Shut up, Cora. You're not the Pathfinder, I am, damn it. I mean, again, Cora's a good soldier, don't get me wrong. But Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. Cora's a good soldier, just still saying. But, you know. There is such a thing as a chain of command here. Got it. Sure. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Hundred yeah. at fifty-three percent. Okay. You got him, Cora? No. I think he's the last one. Last one in the wave, anyways. Or not. Get him. Get him. Get him. Hangar door closure at 77%. Let me know when it's at 100, Sam. Not a moment sooner. That's what I would say if I was in Ryder's shoes. Unlocked. Cat access is cut off. Okay. That's part one. Oh shit. Ha ha! You go fly. You go fly. Okay, Ooh. that should have done it. Except there's no power. Vidaria? Let's ask her. Whoa! That didn't go what was well. That? I estimate that several of the Ark's electrical junctions just overloaded. Shit. Vidaria? Yeah, hold on. Vidaria, Sam says we lost some electrical junctions. Mm hmm. I know. The overload started a fire. Damn it! That shouldn't have happened. Be it's calm, okay. soldier. What could have <laughs> made him overload? Cora. If there's something else, there's <clears throat> power on the lower decks, uh, something big. Okay. Theories can wait, people. Let's secure the Ark first. That might be complicated. Those Ket, they must be watching us. If they delay the repairs long enough, the Valiant ship catches up. If we're quick and efficient, we can outmaneuver them. Okay. First thing is the last stasis pods. I'll go check on them. You could go below, look for whatever's draining power, and maybe help with the fire. Which way to the lower decks? Uh, the living quarters. Hmm. I'll open maintenance access. You can cut through. Sounds good. Good luck. May the cat wither in the void before you. Sounds good, Vidaria. Ryder, it's Sarissa. We got some power, then <coughs> a report. What happened? 
An accident. We're fixing it. All right. Go forward. We'll keep prepping the drive core. We won't let you down, man. Of course not, Lieutenant. Sirisa out. Uh, quit trying to be our hero. Or quit trying to just kiss up to your hero, Cora. I get it. You want to be Sarissa so bad. Hmm. Evacuation orders. Bad, 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 bad. An evacuation order. Someone must have dropped it. Don't wait for a family. That's rough. No kidding. I would have been like, like hell I'm not waiting for my family. Like, you know, you come all that way and that would be your your order? No thank ye. Guess the Asari cut the lights. Or someone did. Watch your step. Indeed. Let's explore, shall we? Whoa. What's this? Hell. The nameplate says Matriarch Ishara, the Pathfinder who died. We're in her room. Well, that's something. Did you know Matriarch Ishara? Only by reputation. She was a diplomat, very wise and respected, and the cat took her away. It must be eating Sarissa up inside. Maybe. I mean, when you are a second in command, your job is usually to uh, take care of your CO and. I'm almost at the stasis pods. Ah, blasted! No power for elevators. And you, you have to. Vidaria, cut the elevators mag locks. If the arcs like ours, you can climb down the shaft. Good idea. Thanks, ma'am. She's a greenhorn, but she's not a complete failure. Barracks. They really packed people in. All waiting to evacuate. Yeah, and they established barracks with initiative bedrolls. Hmm. Color fun for all ages. Holographic coloring book. Really? Holographic coloring book. Okay. A little silly, but I suppose. <clears throat> child care rotation. Oh, there were child there were children here? Oh. Day ten. Wow. Nope, nothing to say about that, Cora. So many people crammed in, waiting, hearing the emergency alarms. The cat did that to them. Yeah. From from Sarissa, you're out of stasis. Oh shit, Sarissa. Damn. Regrets. Damn. Wow. Wow. Huh. Again, nothing from Cora in regards to Sarissa and what she says in that terminal. Go figure. The cat brought their pets. Let them come. Really hope the 
these things got aboard after the children left. Eh. Perhaps. I don't know if I'd bank on it. We're not alone. Oh, hi. What were they up to? Probably looking for a way out. Guess they found one. Ooh, big container. If only I used sniper rifles, that would be kind of nice, but nope. All right. Fideria again. Two cat were trying to mess with the stasis pods. Not anymore. Good work. Well done. Remember Sarissa's manuals. Stay low. I will. The pods are safe. I'll keep tracking that power drain. Good work, kiddo. <clears throat> hmm. Looks bad. Why isn't the fire suppression system engaged? Either insufficient power or the explosion damaged fire control. Yeah, we could fix that if we find the controls and then reach whatever's draining power without getting singed. Yep. That's, you know, would be a good idea. What? What? Oh, I guess I... Because that little bit of fire I touched. Peggy saw me. I am trapped in an air vent. Ready your biotics and pick them off as they pass. But now here... God damn it, I... A silent predator. I hit... I hit a little patch of fire... God damn it. That was stupid. Fideria uh. again. Two cat were trying to mess with the stasis pods. Not anymore. Good work. Remember Sarissa's manuals. Stay low. I will. The pods are safe. I'll keep tracking that power drain. Uh-huh. Uh. Looks bad. Why isn't the fire suppression system engaged? Either insufficient power or the explosion damaged fire control. We could fix that if we find the controls. And then reach whatever's draining power without getting singed. Mm hmm. Now I just gotta watch the little blips of fire here to not get completely burned. It's Fideria. The cat saw me. I am trapped in an air vent. Ready your biotics. And pick them off as they pass. But they'll hear. You're a huntress, a silent predator. Okay. Going silent. You got this, kid. Gar. Got him. All right. All right. Enemies uh -oh. up above. Not for long. Come on, dissipate, you stupid dark matter grenade. Thank you. Ah. Uh... Gotcha. Come on. Got him. I think the cat were after the fire suppression controls. Over there. But why? That wouldn't make that makes no sense. Controls. 
and we can get this out. I'm working on it. Uh, yeah, that's bright. Ironic. The electrical junction is damaged. Ah. I recommend searching for an alternative. Of course. Because God forbid it just be as simple as, oh, I'll just plug right into the fire thing. And Can't get see a way to fix it. Any luck job rider? done. What? Okay. Got it. Whatever this power is, the arc needs fire control more. There. Let's try again. Heh. <laughs> I love how you just say it like that. Like, ah, whatever. The power is rerouted. That should cool us off. Videri again. I got the cat. They got me back, but I'm okay. Nice work. <clears throat> I shut. I managed to track the real power drain. Here's the nav point. I'll see you there. Well done. Well done, soldier. Onwards and upwards. Captain Atandra here. We're warming up the drive core, but we need more juice. We're on it, Captain. Good. The Valiant ship is still out there somewhere. We've lost so many, and Matriarch Ashara. It can't be for nothing. I understand completely. <clears throat> you feel it too? What's causing that? Some engine. I don't even know what you're talking about. Near left before she could clean up her workbench. These components were taken from arc systems, including power distribution. Explains the problems we're having. What could be worth gutting the arc? Ooh, a sorry sword. I forgot the Asari like to use swords. Evac, and then security. Eh, nothing special. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Looks like an uh, observation deck. Wow, a lot of people came through here fast. Yep, including there being Rider, a fight. Over here. Oh, never mind. It. There's a fight corridor for sure. Thank the goddess, you're all right. Here, this is what's draining the power. What is this thing? It looks like the cat attack sheared off some hull plating. Then someone rigged up this Mass Effect field device. The hmm. field's so strong it holds the hull together. It would help people evacuate the deck beyond. Explains the headaches. Whoever built this was smart. Probably saved a lot of lives. I pray she got out safe. The deck's deserted now. We have to turn the device off. I tried pulling the plug, but nothing. Can you scan it? Maybe your Sam can figure it out. Hmm. The device requires two people for shutdown. One disconnecting the cables, and another at the device itself. I'll handle the device. Caution. Once begun, the failsafe cycle must be completed, or the device will fuse. Oh, goody. And also, cue the cat kind of uh, jumping in. Am I right? Because that's Ready just how it area? goes. Disconnecting the first cable now. Cat! Watch the device. We'll handle them. But I knew that. We need you, Vidaria. You can do this. Yep. I knew that was going to happen because it's a giant combat room. Ugh. Watch the glass. It can take a few shots. Focus on the cat. Right. All right. You got this, Vidaria. Where the hell are you, eh? Come out to play, yay! Oh crap. No, you don't! Ah! 
Gotcha. They're down. Okay, next cable. Ready when you are. Okay. Let's do it. Second cable. We're getting there. Marquette, take them down. Got it. How many came aboard? An entire uh, platoon, battalion, whatever you want to call it. Brigade, maybe. <clears throat> gotcha. Come on now. Got it. All right, now the cable. Yep. Let's finish this. <sighs> Working on the last cable. Another yep. attack. They're desperate, Ryder. This must be the last of them. We can only hope. And I think it is the last of them in this uh, particular level, so... We've almost reached the end! Yay! Grrr! Come on, Hora! This is their last stand! Break through! Glad you have confidence in that there, Cora. Ugh. All right. Got it. The cat are down. The device can help you deactivate. <clears throat> Let's grab some ammo just in case. There's a mini boss or a boss fight. Or not. That noise. It's gone. Um, <sighs> that's what we wanted, right? Yeah. It's Captain Atandra. Ryder, the drive course coming online. You did it. A few minutes and we're out of here. Nice. I'm not relaxing yet. I'll take a breather once we're at the Nexus. That's smart. At least sensors are clear for now. Sarissa here. Superb work, all of you. We're almost home. Uh-huh. It's really over. I should go and help. There might be something I can do. You did a good job. You helped save this whole arc. Not bad for your first big mission. Sarissa should be proud, Vidaria. You'll be one hell of a commando. You'd know, Lieutenant. Thank you for everything. Goddess guide you. Hmm. Pathfinder, restoring power has freed up your data cache. It includes the succession log from Matriarch Ishara. Can you access it? Forget the data. I need you. The barrier's collapsing. Ishara, <coughs> they'll tear the arc apart. I... That data is the only thing that might buy off time. Cat reinforcements approaching, Pathfinder Ashara. Sarissa! My Sam can't... Tiamna, please! Oh, God. I have to save them, even if I can't save... Oh, boy. You're a hero. You're a hero, Korra. Forgive me. You're a hero, Korra. Tiamna used to mean guardian of temples, a champion who stayed faithful even when all was lost. Ah. Sarissa left her to die. What good is a guardian who doesn't defend her Pathfinder when it matters? After everything she wrote on duty, sacrifice. Damn it all, Ryder. What do I do? First, we... Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Atandra here. The cat hunters blindsided us. They have a dropship headed for the breach on deck 12. How long until we have FTL? 
Too long. Sarissa's coming to help. Push him back. Helmets on, people. All right. Pent. <laughs> um. So yeah, it's worth noting that once we finish this too, we'll be halfway done with the loyalty missions in this uh, for the uh, the respective characters. So there's that. Caution. The Mass Effect field device is still connected. Remotely triggering it may affect local gravity. Could be useful. Keep your mag boots active! And stay back from the edge! Okay. Ah! Okay. Everyone, hang on! Whee! I do like how because we're in like a we space vac. I do like how because you're technically in a space vacuum, the gunshots are kind of muffled. That's actually a very cool little touch that they made uh, with this particular mission. I was like, wait, who's shooting me? From where? Oh, over here. Gotcha. Oh, crap. I didn't see the grenade. Uh, come on, now. I've almost got you. Punchy, punchy. I would say stabby stabby, but sometimes the Omni Blade isn't Rider, like a legitimate knife. Sarissa's almost there. Don't let up. Ugh. You stupid. This invasion will not be denied. I will take my prey. Must be the Valiant himself. Take him down. Well, we can try. Oh. Great. Yeah, it's another mini-boss. Another mini-boss, Ket. Well. Sticks and stones, bruh. Sticks and stones. Alright. I think that's... I think that's all the minions. No? Okay, I think that's all the minions. Yep, that is all the minions. <clears throat> See, the problem with this is that it's not, uh... It's not the best gun to use for the... Shut the hell up! I agree. And let me guess, he summons reinforcements. No, he doesn't. Okay. I can live with this. These guys are just kind of annoying. Like, they aren't so, like, tough. So much as they're just like, ah, they're there. It would help if the companions actually damaged him a little bit. You know, made my job a little easier, you know. Come on. Of course, it's probably, yep. It's gotta be a three-phase boss. I don't know what it is about video games uh, and, like, mini-bosses, but they'll occasionally follow, like, the old rule of three. And, like, sometimes it's interesting and sometimes it's just, like, 
Really? Why? Why do you have to do that? I've already won this fight, basically. Is what I usually end up saying. Okay, come on. Ugh. Rest in hell! Everything. <clears throat> well, you're dead. Rest in hell. Sarissa. Incoming fire! Oh boy. Like the Battle of Crocus, there's still a chance. <sighs> Oh boy. Lieutenant, please. I really shouldn't, but we're dead if I don't help you. Yeah, sorry, Cora. I, I know, Cora, you don't necessarily believe that you should help, but. Shockwave! And even to what even deflected some back. Woohoo! Captain, get us out of here! Punching it. Hold on. Yep, and now we have to. Heh. <laughs> now we have to decide what to do with Sarissa. A skeleton so. crew, but enough to patch up the Ark. She'll make it to the Nexus. Mm hmm. Whatever it costs. You need to talk to Sarissa about Ashara's message. I wanted to thank you both. That was exemplary work. I'm proud to- Ma'am? Sarissa? We know about Ashara. Uh-huh. The log survived. Then her final moments her won't be final. lost. You deserted your Pathfinder. You should be better than- I chose protecting all these people over a single life. The choice they train us to make, Lieutenant. But you exactly. didn't tell anyone. Because then you wouldn't be their shining hero. And maybe that's how it should be. Being a Pathfinder means giving them hope. Ryder, you know this, don't you? Yes. But the Asari should they know. They need to hear the truth. Let them handle it. Ryder, Cora. Don't do this. Sorry. Sorry, but we need to prep for the Nexus approach. We've got a hell of a story for them. There's more. Sarissa chose retrieving the Ket data over saving Ishara's life. Our Sam found the succession log. Mm-hmm. You've one of your harebrained ideas got Ishara the killed. The Ket killed her. I had to be sure the Ark could escape them. And we uh -huh. did, again and again, while they hunted us down. It's only dumb luck that Ryder found us. Uh-huh. Who's next in line? Uh... Videra? The kid? Daria. Maybe a Pathfinder with some humility can do better. You can look to Ryder's example. She'll be fine. I worked out okay. Vidaria will find her feet. I defended you against the Ket. Vidaria can't face them. She's not- A huntress without the trust of her team. Stands alone. She is a tree in the desert, bearing only defiance. My own words, Lieutenant. They're yes. true. Ma'am. Yikes. Yep. Well, Cora, hopefully you got the hero worship out of your system. Let's go. They're safe. That's all that matters now. All right. Yeah, let's talk with Cora. Hey, you okay? 
Can I just do today over again? <laughs> and not have a Pathfinder stripped of everything she loves. No kidding. I put so much faith in Sarissa. But the Asari were just as lost as we are. We're not lost. We know our mission. I think we're finding our way pretty well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Should have known better than to say that to a Pathfinder. Mm-hmm. Thank you for being there, on the Lucinia. Can I tell you something? Sure. The old man was right to choose you as Pathfinder instead. Aww. I don't blaze a trail. I always look for the mentor, their plan. As a Pathfinder, my mistakes would be worse than Sarissa's. You've done great things. You're... You're twice the woman she is. She lied just to stay a hero. You fight, you save lives, and you don't need applause for doing it. Mm -hmm. That isn't... It is true. Deal with it. Mm -hmm. Look, neither of us chose this. But maybe we both ended up where we needed to be. Maybe. if we lost your father. But it's happened. If you can't outrun it, gotta use it. What did you... <laughs> he said something like that once. Still true. I need to think of it. But I'll be okay. And on deck whenever you need me. Sounds good. Yay! We got Korra's loyalty mission. Unlocked. All right. So we've actually finished uh, half the uh, half the pathfinder, or half the pathfinder, half the uh, half the uh, story, or not the story, half the loyalty missions. So yay! We finished half the loyalty missions. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, let's see. We got Elodin, and then we got a couple other places. Let's see if Cora has anything to say here. Hi there. Nope. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. All right. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> hmm. Writer. No. Nope. Uh, sounds. Nothing. Okay. Thank you, Cora. Still sorting through everything, but it's easier since we talked. But there is no need to support. I'm sure she'd like to chat with you. Lieutenant Hyderia, remember me. Talk to that nice outpost of yours. I'll take care of everything. Not anymore, though. With the Lucinia back, we've got people. They're saying none of it would have happened. I believe them. Thank you. Aw. Yay. All right. <clears throat> we didn't parking orbit. Scan complete. Okay. All right, to Vold. Huh. All right, so we're going to scan for that other satellite data thing and then We'll go to Kadara for uh, PV's last bit of rem tech, and then after that, I'll call it a stream. Hem. We just got pinged by another of those ZK trackers. 
Let's try to get close enough to pull some data. On it. Tracker ahead. Looks active. He's up on it. We need a point of origin. That is one twitchy self-destruct. Wait. Just let me stick a predictive model in this fragment. There. A common vector. Maybe a point of origin. Good job. Let's go. All right. I lied. Let's take a look at this. Let's finish this first since we're uh, here. Finish these ZK trackers, maybe even. Exact nav point indicated by the ZK trackers. Okay. Right. Addison's request. Let's see if this helps us find her missing scientist. Damn it. The shuttle's just a relay. But I think we can get in their feeds. Hold on. Signals through. Ready for coordinate transfer. In. Who the fuck? We've been found. Deadhead the comms. Here we go again. I'm the Pathfinder. A Pathfinder? One finally showed? Harlan, stop talking. Is that Dr. Kennedy? Are you okay? Director Addison is concerned about you and your tech. Keep them talking, Ryder. Tracing. All I want is to stop the stealing. I have outposts of people trying to start their lives. Outposts starting lives, huh? Let them see, Harlan. They just forwarded Dr. Kennedy's medical profile. Ryder. What? She's pregnant. Oh, that wow. Woman is pregnant. First that baby. woman knows full well the state she's in. Huh. You're the first in Andromeda. Chemical blockers were standard for cryo. We were supposed to wait until we were stable. And when was that going to be? Everything was going wrong. The Nexus had no plan. You're with Addison? Well, she fell in line with Tan, said we couldn't add new mouths until we were stable. But this wasn't about waiting until we could afford a house. We were dying. So I left, with enough meds for Harlan and I to get off the blockers. Aww. How far along? Dr. Kennedy, how long? Eight months, give or take. Wow. You're not going back. You're not getting my tech. We'll be fine without you. Tell Addison. Fuck it. Don't tell her anything. Kill it. Shit. They flashed the core. Couldn't get a trace. Addison will want to hear about this. And I've got questions for her. Yes, indeed. Let us take care of this, shall we? Huh. Bitcoin channels already, Pathfinder. Mm hmm. Director Addison, I have a sighting on your missing Dr. Kennedy and her trackers. She's alive? And eight months pregnant. Fucking hell. That's why she left the start. She wasn't abducted by exiles. She left because the Nexus had no plan. She said you didn't want people to try getting pregnant. Of course I didn't. We had no worlds. We knew we would lose people. I wasn't going to watch babies die, too. Of all the stupid, irresponsible, selfish... She was always like this, even back on Earth. She took me into this, and now, now we have to save her tail. Really? Wait, what did Dr. Kennedy talk you into? She's an old university friend. 
We were catching huh. up and she mentioned a project she was training for. The Andromeda Initiative? She'd still be here if I wasn't forced to tell her no a year ago. Really? What was the timetable for stopping the contraceptives everyone got before cryo? No way to tell. It was to be determined. You had to know that would frustrate people. It was the only answer we could give. The alternative was more mouth and more death. Mm-hmm. Dr. Kennedy seems to have a group with her. Stealing her head, <clears throat> she has support. How long will that last? She's the smartest person I know, but she jumps without looking. Ryder, we have two speeches banked for the first child in Andromeda. Trust me, you want the one for the good outcome. We know how to find her. We find more of her ZK trackers. Hopefully you can draw them out by placing more outposts. If she hasn't changed the protocol. She's eight months. She may be distracted. This is a complete shit show. Find them, Pathfinder. The first human child in Andromeda can't just disappear. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, uh, Addison. All right. So, yeah, first things for we're going to go to, uh, we're going to go to Kadara. We're gonna find, gonna find the remnant tech, and then after that, I will call the stream. Just detected a ZK tracker. Scan's ready. We need Dr. Kennedy's location. Understood. Believe me. Now orbiting Kadara. Mm-hmm. All right, and here we go. All right. Huh.
All right, so now. Here we go. All right. Yeah, we're going to get this. Uh, excuse me. Last relic. And then I'll call it a stream. If for no other reason than I think it sets the table for the rest of PB's... Uh, Loyalty mission. And we got half of the loyalty missions done. Which is kind of... So, Cora, is I nice. know, all right. I shouldn't have put my faith in Sarissa. I should have remembered she's just as fallible as me, but I didn't. Happy now? I'll be happier when you've shot something. You and me both. <laughs> yeah, yikes. But why the hell would you poke and prod at that there, PB? <clears throat> Wee. Okay. Wee bit of lag. Got it. Oh, goody, Krogan. Just what I needed. Looks like outlaws are camping this site. Oh, goody. Well, you can certainly try. Come on, try and stop us. Really, another shuttle? Granted doesn't think we can beat you, but we will. Well, try me. All right, let's find the piece of tech PB needs. Uh, hot, cold, warm. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Checking this container. Empty, but there's a data. Had. Looks like there's a message for us. <laughs> Hope my boys put up a fight. But you're too slow, Pathfinder. I got what you're looking for. I'll meet you and your Asari at Kadara Port. You can buy the tech from me. Out. I need that piece, Ryder. Guess we've got a date with an annoying outlaw who fancies himself a rival. Oh. <sighs> All right. Let's take this chump stain out. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> Me. 
<sighs> but yeah, we finish this and then I'll call it a stream. It'll be a, considered a pretty good day then because we'll have uh, most of the, uh, like I said, we'll have most of the loyalty missions done. The only ones that we haven't done are to the places we basically haven't gone to yet. And once we actually enter those places, we'll also slowly but surely approach Endgame. Because I'm not going to confront the Archon right away. Hey, Ryder. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. Damn it. <sighs> there. Why did you tell me to go down then, game, if PB wasn't there? Ugh. God. Whatever. Sometimes the maps don't make sense. Did someone slap an asshole magnet on me or something? No. Waiting for that Krogan to show? Just need to buy the Rem Tech piece off him so I can perfect my remnant scanner. He and his crew keep showing up at sites we're targeting. It can't be coincidence. I think they could be following us somehow. That makes sense. It would be uh -huh. nice to know for sure. I'm working on it. Ryder, come in. We've got a problem. Go ahead, Kello. We've had an intruder. Got on board and into PB's quarters. Her bot is gone. Pock? <sighs> Anything else missing? Any other areas compromised? We're doing a full recon, but I don't think so. They left an impressive piece of REM tech and a recorded message, relaying it now. Ryder, it's Kalinda Terev. Pelisari is... well, whatever she calls me these days. Please tell her thank you for the nifty bot. I trust the REM tech piece my crew took will be adequate payment. Oh, and no need to wait for my Krogan friend, Kranit. He and his outlaws work for me. Ta. <sighs> Shit! Why can't she just leave me alone? Were you two intimate? I take it you were lovers? Why? Think she's fixated or something? Ugh. To complete my scanner, I need access to the storage device in Pock. Kalinda's always been a troublemaker. Anything for a rise. And if there's a profit in it, all the better. I'm sorry you're catching her crap now, Ryder. You don't have to deal with this. I'll take care of it on my own, I promise. Hey, we're in this together. Uh, thanks. <laughs> when I have a lead on getting Pock back, I'll let you know. <sighs> Bitch stole my bot. Oh. Alright, well. Now we gotta play the waiting game. Great. Huh. <clears throat> Let's see here now. Yikes. All right. Well. Let's see. We'll talk to... We'll go back to the... Tempest. We'll talk to the crew, and then we'll call it a stream.
Hello? Uh, yeah. You ain't got anything to say, Suvi? Writer. Nope. I sh All right. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to the party. I'm gonna talk to my crew, and then after that, I will call it a stream. Looks like they're all doing their own thing too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. There we go. All right, where's Jal? Are the buildings at Kodromos typical houses? For humans? There's a lot of variance even with in our species. I'm not sure I can call anything typical. <clears throat> what did your family home look like? Mm, I might start crying. Is that shameful? We cry together, laugh together, sometimes fight like Adi. Now that sounds like home. Uh huh. Hey. Hello, Ryder. How's the face wound? <laughs> I think my scar will be impressive. Nice. A centimeter to the right and, well, let's not think about it. Aksul was always a terrible shot. Oh, huh? shit. Wouldn't have worried so much if you'd told me that before. <laughs> Can you stay and talk some more? Yeah. Do you have a mate? A partner? I don't. Not for a long time. Not oh. for a long time. <laughs> I mm -hmm. fell in love with a girl once. Aliyah. We were young. <laughs> I was young. It was my Aww. first vassal on Aya. We worked on the same farm. She was a little older. A researcher. I can still hear her laugh and see her eyes. She kissed me and I was hers. Thrilled and seduced. I have a bad feeling about this. My older brother came to Aya. Uh oh. He was already famous in the resistance. Where is Aaliyah now? Did she and your brother work out? They came back to Haval, and she joined our family. She became one of the mothers. You have to see her every day? No. They were taken by the kit. Their children survived. Aww. Well, enough about that. Can I ask you a few more questions? Of course. If I can answer them, I will. Did you always <laughs> want to be a fighter? Did you study anything particular in school? I... No. I don't like to talk about it. But I'm not a fighter. Not really. The Ket occupation creates chaos. So our education is chaotic. <laughs> I'm not really anything. But that's an excuse. The truth is, I don't know what I want yet for my life. My age. Hmm. I hope being here will inspire me. Hmm. Can you tell me about your family? Uh, assuming you have one. <clears throat> no. This will take time. Is someone bringing us snacks and drinks? Whoa, your family's that big? I have one true mother, Sohuna. Hmm. 
And more than five additional mothers. And many, many, many siblings. <laughs> <laughs> and cousins. All raised together. Our families constantly change and evolve. Relationships come and they go. My father is gone. Taken. Or killed. By the cat. We never found his body. Hmm. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry about that, Jal. I understand. I just lost my dad. <laughs> Something in common between aliens, then. We are fatherless. Yet we fight on. Anything else you want to ask? Hmm. The dreams. Do Angara plan their futures? Do you dream about what you want to accomplish? <laughs> you put plan and dream in the same question. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. You meant to do that. Angara thirst for now. We don't strive to make the future better. We strive because the present is lacking. Hmm. Well, That's enough about that. Fascinating. I'll see you later, Joel. Stay strong and clear. Fascinating. All right. Well, let's talk to Cora. And then, yeah, I know. I don't really care for the crafting elements game, so uh, I'm going to leave those research points abandoned, if you don't mind. Hi there. Nope, nothing. I'll be here. All right. Well, we'll go. We'll see if, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, if the, uh, the tracker mission, we can figure out what's going on with now that. Before we, uh... Detected. Probe away. Something's different, Pathfinder. An Angara signal in the tracker. Hmm. Try and get me the last message through. Hmm. Attached. We find the source. This tech will give us initiative access. The breeder is also a symbolic target. No mercy. Rokar targeting Dr. Kennedy. Suvi, do we have her? Negative. We need another tracker. Damn it. Uh. Okay. Alright, so we are going to go... to Vectra and where they are. We'll scan the area. And then yeah. Look at these readings. The system is beautiful. I'll say that's a stellar nursery. Stars are born out here. Hmm. Yeah, we'll end up going to the planet where Vetra and her uh, side mission is, and then uh, I'll or her loyalty mission is, and then I'll call it a stream. I know I keep saying that, but uh, part of me just keeps getting more and more invested in the game. So, eh. I'm what can I do? Something. <clears throat> I'm picking up something. Mm -hmm. Probe away. 
We've got a crater. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Vetra Drac. Wow. Look at all this. The scourge did a number here, didn't it? Hmm. To think this was supposed to be the Turian home, now the exiles have taken over. Mm -hmm. Cosmic radiation is off the charts, Ryder. You'll need to stay in the Nomad. Mm -hmm. What good are these fancy suits if they don't block radiation? Mm -hmm. In normal situations, My thoughts. they do. This planet's magnetic field was disrupted when it cracked open. No protection from a cosmic ray tearing you apart at the molecular level. Huh. So, stick to the Nomad. Yeah, pretty Descent much. Descent engine engaged. Good luck, Ryder. All right. Yeah, I don't even think... I don't think any monolith could... Uh, I don't think any monolith could save us from uh, that. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me. All right, save, and we shall call it a stream. So, hope so long, see you later, goodbye. Hope you enjoyed the ride and got some entertainment out of it. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you all stay happy, stay healthy, stay beautiful, stay sane. Uh, I don't know what my stream plans will be uh, for tomorrow, but uh, you can click on my bio on my channel. Uh, to locate my Twitter page where I will have an active update. And if you missed the majority or any of the VOD, uh, it'll be uploaded to YouTube uh, for this stream. will be uploaded shortly uh, within the weekend. So, uh, yeah. This is JP the Orange Lantern saying ta-ta for now. Until next time.